Hi everyone. I hope you're all having a great week. This week I'm working on an intuitive painting using watercolors. I started my painting by creating a light wash of paint for the background. Once that layer was completely dry, I added water to my paper in the shape I wanted to create for my butterfly. I'm adding lots of water because I'm going to be adding my colors in a very loose manner. Once I feel like I've added enough water, I start to add my paint. I want the first layers of paint I add to be relatively light in color, so they're going to be more diluted with water. I want this painting to be very loose. The only thing that I keep doing is making sure that whatever I create on one side, I create on the other side. Of course, to keep my painting loose, I don't have to be exact about what I create on each side. While my surface is still wet, I continue dabbing different colors. Because the surface is wet, the different colors I add will blend together. Now I'm using the tip of a wooden skewer to etch some lines into my paper. The paint will settle in the lines that are scratched into the surface of my paper. While doing this, it's important not to scratch too hard, otherwise the surface of the paper will tear. Now I'm slowly but surely starting to add some darker shades of paint. The darker values I'm adding are basically paint that's less diluted with water. So far I've been working with mostly cool shades of red. Now I'm going to start to warm things up by adding some orange. And on the bottom of my butterfly's wings, I'll start adding some yellow. I love how wet paper makes the paint spread as you add your different colors. Adding some more saturated red along the inner edge of the butterfly's wings makes for some interesting contrast. I'm using my wooden skewer again to move some of that deeper red around the wings. When using watercolors in this way, you have to paint in a very loose manner and relinquish control to how the water will move on your paper. I can manipulate the paint to a certain extent, but the water will do what it naturally wants to do. Releasing control of the paint makes the process of creating in this way more relaxing and freeing. As I continue to grow on my creative journey, I'm realizing that I get more joy from painting when I put less pressure on myself to do things in a certain way. Here I'm using a Q-tip to absorb some of the paint in the middle so that the paint will eventually dry faster.
Now I've filled my brush with some gold paint and I'm adding splatters to my painting. Once I'm done adding my splatters, I'll let my painting dry. Once the surface is dry, I add water again to the inner edge of the butterfly's wings because I want to add some darker shades of blue. Adding this dark indigo color will again add some more contrast to the painting. And creating contrast adds more visual interest to a painting. I want more of that color in my painting, so I'm going to start adding splashes of it all over. And now I'll add some splashes of red too. Then it's time to let the painting dry again before adding my butterfly's body. To paint the butterfly's body, I use more saturated indigo. I use a small liner brush to add some antennas and then I'm done. Once my painting is dry, I'll use a heat tool to remove the tape from my painting. I had so much fun making this painting that I already want to make more. I think these butterflies would look really neat for greeting cards and they would really look cool in a bigger format. Thank you again for making the time to join me on my journey. Have a wonderful week and happy creating!